Hello there. Today is Mardi Gras. Some of you may be aware of this. You may even be celebrating yourselves. Mardi Gras stands for Fat Tuesday in French. It's traditionally the day that people celebrate and drink and eat a lot of food that is maybe scrumptious, but what they won't be using during Lent. Um, and then the following day is Ash Wednesday. Now, if you grew up in a church that celebrates Ash Wednesday, this may be you know, familiar to you, but if not, like I did, I did not grow up in a church that celebrates Ash Wednesday. I wanted to give you a little explanation so that you could help your children understand and so that you would know what Lent is about and not just think it's something for other people and what other people do. Ash Wednesday is the day that Christians all over the world will come together in churches all over the world, and they will remember the sacrifice that Jesus gave. Ashes are used traditionally from the palm branches that were used during Palm Sunday the year before. They're burned, and then those ashes are used, mixed with a little bit of oil usually, and a cross is made on the forehead to symbolize the sacrifice that Jesus made by the priest or the pastor or some other person in the church who will place those ashes there there. And often they'll say from ashes you came and from ashes you will return or something like that. But it's a time to remember the sacrifice that Jesus gave for us on the cross, hence the cross on your forehead. You may see people in the grocery store or around town that have crosses on their forehead and some people may look at you crazy while others totally understand what that's about. Ash Wednesday begins the Lenten season, not Lent like in your dryer, but Lent, L-E-N-T, which is a 40-day season in the church that precedes uh, Easter. I almost said Christmas because it reminds us a little bit of Advent. You know, when we get ready for Christmas, we have the Advent season. That season when we get ready um, before Christmas, from Thanksgiving, basically that Sunday after until Christmas, when we prepare for the coming of Jesus. And it's an exciting time, and it's an, a celebratory time, and we decorate, and we prepare, and we have fun with our friends, and all of that well, Lent is also a preparatory season in the church, but it's more of a morose season. It's the time that we remember, again, the sacrifice of Jesus. So we begin with that Ash Wednesday service, and it continues for 40 days until the Saturday before Easter often called Holy Saturday. But that time actually doesn't include Sunday. So what people often do is they do sacrifice and prayer. They pray. They give alms, give to the poor, and they also give up something. So it's sacrificial. It's giving up something, that a fasting type thing, often food, sometimes other things. It's giving to the poor and it's prayer. And the idea is Jesus gave of himself for us. He was actually tempted for 40 days in the wilderness. And you'll remember the Noah's Ark story. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. And the Israelite people traveled for 40. You know, it goes on and on. That's an important time that number in the Bible, but that 40-day period. So what people traditionally do is they sacrifice something. It might be caffeine. It might be candy. It might be whatever. The idea is not to give up something you normally wouldn't give up. For example, I don't drink coffee, so I'm not going to say for Lent I give up coffee because that's not a sacrifice for me. Instead, a sacrifice for me might be Diet Coke or one time I did listening to the radio on the way to and from work, um, things like that. Some people do it, some people don't, but it's time if, if you choose to celebrate during Lent using the fasting part, you can give up something that normally you would do and it, during that time when you would normally do that thing, you can be reminded of the sacrifice that Jesus gave for you. So that's the purpose in it. It's not to tell everyone about what you gave up. It's not to, you know, get everyone to give you you know, to commiserate with you or anything like that. It's just to that you remind yourself to remember the sacrifice that Jesus gave. You can also take that time that you give up whatever it is to pray. Um, and then you can also give to the poor. Those are kind of the three things that are involved. So at our church tomorrow, we will celebrate Ash Wednesday at First Christian Church. If you're in Lawrence, you're welcome to come join us or whatever church you attend or are close to. We will have a packet for kids too so that they can kind of understand what it's about and during the service they can color and they can look at pictures and they can read if they're able or you can help them read so that they'll understand it a little bit more. But I wanted to give you a little overview so that you would know what it's about. So the idea is it's kind of a kind of a morose time that we build up until the day before um, Easter. And then on Easter Sunday, we celebrate the, the resurrection of Jesus. The reason that Sundays don't count is because Jesus was raised from the dead on a Sunday. And so if you fast during the week on Sunday, you're able to indulge in that thing that you give up. That's the idea. Some people choose to do that. Some don't. But the 40 days do not count Sundays. So I hope that maybe you'll consider... Um, 
celebrating Lent this season, uh, that you'll go along with it, that you'll do things with your children. There are lots of activities online, and I'll continue to provide ways for you to do it too. But I hope that you'll think about this, not just as a time that we get ready and buy eggs and all of that, but instead that we get ready for the most important time in the church that is the crux of what we believe, which is that Jesus gave his life on the cross to pay for our sins and that he was then raised from the dead. So, happy Mardi Gras, and I hope that you will begin to celebrate Lent tomorrow as we start Ash Wednesday.